After I had gotten, gotten contacts, you know, everything is suddenly very clear. You know, when before, it's just kind of fuzzy. I got my contacts, I put them in, and looked in the mirror and went, ah! You know, because everything showed up. Uh, things I didn't want to see. So I just, the way I write, I just it just comes to me, and I, I write, and when it gets through, uh, flowing through my mind, it's, it's over. And anyway, I went and sat down at my desk, and I wrote my sentiments on growing older. And it's just called aging. What a shock to wake up old. What idiots said these years are solid gold. My bones make strange noises my mind can't remember if it's a cold snap in May or a warm day in December. What happened to the girl I used to be? She used to run, she loved to ski. But when I think of doing those things now, I think just a bit more cautiously. Oh, she isn't totally gone. The daredevil's still there. She's just trying to find out how many of her injuries would be covered by Medicare. I've told myself and others that age is a state of mind. It depends on how you feel. <laughs> but today I feel older than Methuselah, and age is very real. Yesterday I wore high heels all day. Today they're in the trash. Thank God they say it's stylish now to wear long skirts and flats. The most exercise I get is climbing back into bed each night, out of which I slide, from being lathered from head to toe with all those creams I diligently apply. And it's hard on the nerves to wake each morning in total despair and look in the mirror and find those lines are still there. People my age say, why, you wouldn't want to be young again. Just look at me. But looking at them, you bet I would. I would, I would, if only I could relive all those years, I'd take it real slow, because too soon youth is gone and you wake up old. But I've had a good life and more to come, I pray, and starting this moment, I'll cherish each and every day. I'll appreciate each season, though quickly they come, and be quick to say I love you to friends and loved ones. I'll eat only foods that are good for me. Well, that's going a little far. Baskin Robbins is right down the street, and I think there's gas in the car. No, I can't run, but I can walk, and thanks to God, I can see and I can talk. Youth is still there in my heart and in my mind. Oh, Lord, I wish there weren't so many stairs to climb. And that exercise bicycle I wish would disappear, and in its place, a vibrating easy chair. <laughs> I've used all the Bengay, and my muscles still hurt. To heck with the vacuuming, what's wrong with a little dirt? Now, I've been thinking about this process of aging and all the positive things I've been told, but I have a question. How come all these articles are written by someone 25 years old? <laughs> I've canceled my subscription to Cosmo and subscribed to AARP. More of the articles in the latter seem now to apply to me. I hadn't meant to write a book, and I don't want to get anyone depressed, but at least mine would have some humor, and that's more than I can say for the rest. Yes, there's lots of drawbacks to growing old, but considering the alternatives, it isn't bad. And I've had all these years to store up memories, and for that, I'm thankful and I'm glad. I have just one more statement, and I'll end with this. To have to look into a magnifying mirror to put on makeup is the living lousy pits. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> My sentiments. <laughs>